think you're gonna wanna stay for this one. This is a three-piece set that we did in the central area. It was clearly heavily soiled, so I told the client I would start with the one in the worst condition. That way, we'd have some sort of baseline to know what we could expect with the cleaning. After all, this was a set that was originally light brown. And while the client was aware that we may not regain that original state, I still thought to myself, let's see how good we could get this before we move on to the others. At least that way, the client can make an informed decision of whether they want a spring to replace the entire set. So I started on the love seat. And though it took multiple sprays and scrubs, as well as a lot of time allowing the cleaning agent to work, most of the buildup was being extracted. A lot of different factors can contribute to soiling on your furniture, and they are only compounded by time. So if there's any eating, playing or sleeping on your couches, they are more likely to get dirtier sooner rather than later. But if you're really into preventative care, you can try. Simple things like regular vacuuming and even a wipe down with a damp cloth would help prevent the buildup that leads to a state like this. But if you weren't able to do those things for whatever reason in the past, that's where we come in. We've been cleaning couches and mattresses for more than 4 years now. From the north coast to the south coast and almost everywhere in between. Our Instagram has hundreds of posts and our TikTok is gaining traction. And there's a reason for this. And you've been watching it all along. While cleaning I discovered I needed to give this set a second pass. So I redid the seating cushion and paid particular attention to the creases. And wow, just look at that difference. I can't even remember what it originally looked like, can you? So you might have to watch over this one. Okay, so this is a mattress that we did in the central area and this one took some time. This one took the elbow grease. This one required long suffering. It required me... It, listen, it, I really question things at this point with this mattress because I have never sprayed and scrubbed so many times on one item in my life. I've been doing this for five... This might be... This might be the worst matches that we've done. No, not the worst that we've encountered, mind you, because I have had to turn away at least one client and let them know, listen, this ain't safe. I, I really, I, this ain't safe. You really shouldn't be doing this. I mean, that only happened once. But, jeez, son, it's just like, if you, like, this is sped up so, I, I probably, mm -hmm. I wish I had the words. Nevertheless, the client was pleased. <laughs> I mean, listen, to be sure, we got the dirt out, you know. You had, to, you had to understand that. That is no longer in the mattress. And thank God for that. It's kind of crazy that people are still for the first time discovering that we clean mattresses. And not just mattresses, eh? But also sofas and car interiors as well. You know, and a lot of people like to jump in the comments and say, just get a new one, just replace it. But Dan, everybody's budget is different. And let me tell you something. These mattresses cost a lot of money well into the thousands and cleaning a queen size is 250 and a king size is 300 so you do the math 